Next game up, we got uh, three more here, and let's move to ESPN 2, 10.15 p.m., Virginia at BYU. Bronco Mendenhall's return, 64.5 is the total. BYU is favored now by three points. Uh, Virginia, 4-1 and one against the number in their last five games. BYU has kind of dropped off a little bit as of late. Uh, you start digging through some of these numbers. Virginia's defense... Not great. They are number 115 in EPA per play. BYU, same kind of thing here. They are number 90 in EPA per play on defense. So you got two bottom, you know, bottom 40 teams uh, on defense. Not great. However, the offense is uh, really good. Like, really, really good. Virginia's offense, number 7 in EPA per play. And BYU, number 25 in EPA per play. Uh, BYU at home, like, this is a rough spot to play in for Virginia. Because we all know that playing in Provo was difficult. I mean, just ask Arizona State. Just ask Utah. Just ask, you know, all these other teams. The question is, though, I don't know that I don't know that BYU has had to play uh, a passing offense like this, right? I, I don't think anybody has been quite as successful. You know, I, we talked a little bit earlier in the preview about Virginia and, and Bronco Mendenhall completely swapping his offensive philosophy three years ago when he had Bryce Perkins at quarterback they were running the ball at, you know, 62% of the time, whatever it was. And now they're passing the ball like 61% of the time. That's that's a huge, huge shift. And I I know that they are at home. And I know that everybody likes BYU and, and everything else because this line was at two and a half. It's moved up to three now. I kind of like Virginia. I don't know that BYU, if, if Virginia starts to throw the football, uh, because BYU on, on passing defense... I mean, they're number 79 in EPA per pass. Like, Virginia is going to eat them alive. So if they can't find a way to slow down Brennan Armstrong, I don't think there's any way that they can score enough points. Like, to me, this was a pick em. The fact that I've got a three-point head start here, I think Virginia can absolutely win the game outright. So I'm going to take Virginia to, to cover the three here. Yeah, this is another game that I'm super interested in, but I don't want to bet at all. Uh, I don't like this number. I, I have been betting BYU like crazy all year long. Early on, I made a lot of money off of them. I've lost a ton the last four, I think. I'm going to go back to them, though. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go back to them just because at some point in time, they're going to they're gonna look more like the team that look they look like at the beginning of the season. And maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Maybe this is who they are, and that was all fraudulent. But I just feel like they might have something in store for their old coach. Maybe they don't. Maybe, maybe Bronco goes back. Maybe Hugh comes back, told this. I mean, you know. Maybe these returning coaches just just find ways to get wins. It's entirely possible. I mean, what we we're kind of used to what's the kid's name? Algier, the running back. I mean, it, it, he's the one that made the uh, the Superman move early in the season. They were dominating yeah. people in the trenches early. Virginia is somebody that you can push around when you're on offense and they're on defense. BYU number forty six in EPA per rush. Virginia's defense number one seventeen. Like they cannot stop people from running uh, running the football. Uh, so that would be the way that BYU could do it. This. Man, the total is 60, 64 and a half now. It came up from 63. Like this thing could get really pointy. So you're you're going to roll BYU. I'm going to take West or I'm going to take uh, Virginia plus 3. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at @garywce at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.